This is the second part of a tutorial on making a shoot 'em up game. File open. Go to the folder where you have the file made in the previous tutorial. You can make the file yourself or download it from my website. Open. In the first tutorial, I limited the life of the target jets, but I forgot to limit the life of the bullets. Select the first empty. This is the logic brick that adds the bullets to the scene. Set the time field to 150. Now the game engine will not waste resources maintaining the bullets after 150 clock pulses. To make an exploded version, of the target jet, change the layout to default, go to the layer where the target jet is, select it, duplicate it, shift D and enter, and we're going to use the duplicate to make the exploded version. To make an explosion we need a particles system, click the particles button. Particle systems are not available in the game engine, so change Blender Game to Blender Render. Click the New button. Set the number of emissions to 50. Set the end frame to 5. Click Random. And in the Velocity panel, set Normal to 10. Click the Modifiers button. Click the Add Modifier button. Add an explode modifier. Set the total length of the animation to 25 frames and click play. And the duplicate target jet explodes. Click the right arrow to step through the frames. For a simple explosion effect, we're going to replace the jet model with an exploded jet model. The bigger the frame number, the bigger the explosion. Apply the explode modifier. We can't apply the particle system, but if we change to blend again, we can delete it. And the model remains deformed. Rewind. Select the target jet. Change the layout to game logic. Add a collision sensor and an edit object actuator. Change the mode of the actuator. There is no replace object, so choose replace mesh. In the outliner window, if we select the exploded jet and click the plus, we see the underlying mesh is cylinder 003. Select the target jet, click on the mesh field and select cylinder 003. Connect up the logic bricks, go back to the first layer, press P to play. Now, when a bullet collides with the target jet, it explodes. To set up a simple scoring system, with the target jet selected, add a message actuator, set the subject of the message to hit, connect that up, and when a bullet collides with the target jet, the message will be sent. Add a text object. Use the tip of the red arrow to move the text to the left. Press S to scale, 2 and enter. Click the plus to open up the properties panel. Add text game property and change the type to integer. Drag to close the properties panel. Add a message sensor and a property actuator. Set the subject of the message sensor to hit. Change the mode of the property actuator to add a value of 1 to the property text and connect those up. There is a problem with several bullets colliding with the target, scoring more than one point. To fix this, drag with the middle mouse button to scroll the menu bar, select the last layer, select the target jet, 
click the plus to open up the properties panel add a game property I'm going to call the property bean hit make it of type boolean true or false if ticked the initial value is true untick so that initially it is false that the target has been hit drag to close that up click the white triangle to close up the edit object actuator add a property actuator scroll down connect that up now when a bullet collides with the target jet we want to assign a value of true to the property being hit. Scroll up, add a property sensor, scroll down, set the property to being hit, set the value to false, and connect that up. Now for the AND controller to send a signal for a hit message, a bullet must collide with the target jet and being hit must be false. Go back to the first layer, press P to play. That's the end of the tutorial. I'll put the start file and the end file for you to download at my website www.freemovies.co.uk at the Blender channel there. Thanks for watching and goodbye.